this seems to be pretty much uh, how it's going today. Some of these fish are really deep and I'm in uh, 30 feet of water right now. This is a little guy. I'm throwing a three quarter ounce jig, trying to get a bigger one, but this is that uh, really weird time of the year during the fall where, you know, they're spread out all over the place. They're really hard to find. And um, so I'm just gonna drag a jig. Hopefully I'll get some bigger than that, but that's been kind of typical today. But I wanna do a video today and go over some jigs with you guys because as we get closer and closer to winter, um, I, I think a jig is a great thing to throw in the winter. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hey everybody, it's Dalton. I'm uh, out here fishing today. And a uh, couple days is my birthday. Today's the 21st of October. And I took about a week and a half off. So I haven't been out here in a while. But one of the things that I determined I was gonna do was fish with a jig. But before I do that, there's a couple of things I wanna share. One, there's a fire, not here at the lake, but the, the smoke has been blown in and it's uh, real hazy back there, I can smell it. It's got my throat all scratchy, so if my throat's a little scratchy, I'm sorry about that, uh, it just seems to be getting thicker and thicker. The second thing is that my wife and I wanna thank you. Uh, we reached 1,000 subscribers, and uh, my wife and I are going to do a video together on how the channel started, how long it took us to get to 1,000 subscribers, and the, the kind of work that we've put in uh, to this video so that's coming up we just haven't been able to get out here together at the lake and, and i would like to do it out here and so that's what we're trying to do so let's talk about a football jig what i want to do is is really talk about talk about simplifying trailer selections for a football jig um the football jig that i like the one that i choose to use probably most all the time now and i've been through another a number of different companies with these football jigs but this is the net bait pocket bug. I really, really like this football jig. It has a, a flat head and it's angled so that when you pull, it'll stand up that trailer. So I like the net bake pocket bug. Um, it, I'm not saying it's the best football jig, not at all. I'm just saying it's one, the one so far that I like the best. And the one thing I'd like for you guys to do is, is if you don't mind sharing what football jigs do you guys use? What brands do you use? Why do you use them? I'll try them out. And uh, I have, I, I love doing stuff like that, but this is the one that I use most of the time. Some of the colors I use are pretty simple. Green pumpkin. I like peanut butter and jelly a lot. That's what I was using today. I like, um, I like, you know, some of the, some of the uh, skirts that have a little brown and orange. I used to fish with live crawdads and most of them had a lot of brown and orange in them. And if the water's real dirty or muddy, or if it's a, you know like an overcast day, it's a dark day, and I'm fishing pretty deep, I like to go with a black and blue. So I don't use a ton of colors. I like the green pumpkins, the peanut butter jellies, the black and blues. Um, if I want to uh, uh, add color to my jig, that's where the trailers come in. So I wanna talk about the trailers because I think trailers are really important. All right, first of all, the one that I'm using today is a Yum Christy Craw. Okay, I like this trailer. I call it a fast trailer. So you, you can use this on a swim jig, you can use it on a chatterbait. And what I mean by that is when I'm reeling this in, I've got no resistance when it comes to the jig. So this is gonna have a faster rate of fall. It's gonna get to the bottom quicker. The other one that I like, that I just recently got turned on to, let me find it and i was fish i'm fishing it with it with it today as well and that's a power bait berkeley power bait this is called a chigger craw it's a three inch chigger craw so let me explain a little bit about that one uh let's see where'd i put it okay so this this particular trailer has a lot of flappy it's got flappy legs okay now what that means is when you're reeling it in it gives you more resistance you can actually feel it well, that means this particular jig is gonna fall much slower 
than say the Yum Christie Craw. The, the Christie Craw is a faster trailer. This is a slower trailer. So when I want a really slow rate of fall, say I see fish that are up off the bottom, maybe suspended or feeding up off the bottom, I'm fishing a jig. I'm gonna use this one because it's gonna fall a lot slower. I may go to a quarter or a three eighths ounce. I'm not gonna throw a three quarter ounce because I want that slow fall. So this type of trailer slows the fall down. A couple of other trailers that I really like. Um, I've always liked the Strike King uh, Menace. I've always liked the Rage Menace. I've got them in different colors. If I want to add a little bit of red to my jigs, I got them in red. I got all kinds of colors of these. These again are a fast, uh, you know, they're a fast um, jig trailer. I got it on this one. If you throw it on a swim jig, you can actually set it up vertical and it looks like a, a fish's tail. So it has a lot of options with that. And it's a good bait to where you can fish it fast, slow. It just works really well. Uh, another one that I like, and it's just a simple trailer, but that is a Zoom uh, Speed Craw. A Zoom Speed Craw is one of my favorite jig trailers, especially if I'm, if I'm swimming a jig. I gotta tell you guys, th these are really active little baits. So you, can, you, you can't go wrong with a Zoom Speed Craw as a jig trailer, whether it's a chatterbait, a football jig, um, whatever jig it is you're throwing, a swim jig, these things are excellent. They come in a lot of different colors. Now for the smaller jigs, let me share something with you. I like the, uh, for my little finesse jigs, and I've got several different ones, but I really like this one. This is a uh, Strike King Bitsy Bug, okay? And I like them in eighth ounce. I use a spinning rod. I'll put like eight pound test on it. And then I take these, uh, this is called a uh, Rage Tail what is this? This is a Rage Tail Baby Bug. It's by Strike King. It's a, it's a much smaller trailer and it's really good for the little finesse jigs if I can get this package open. I'll show you one of these. They're really cool. Little Rage Bug, really small and it's great for the little finesse trailers. You know what, to be honest with you, I think that's about all the trailers I use for my jigs. I don't, uh, there's so many out there. And like I say, anything I'm sharing with you, I don't necessarily feel like it's the best. I don't know if it's the best or not, but I know it's the best for me and it works out really well. Well, I hope this video uh, helps. Again, thank you for helping us to get to a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, things are a little weird out here right now. Um, the, the bass are all spread out. Uh, if you find them, they're biting, but they can get a little bit hard to find. And uh, we're still in that uh, kind of weird fall period where these, these bass are spread out all over the place. One of the reasons is that the water temperature is still up. I think it's like 70 degrees right now. I want that water temperature to get under 65, start dipping toward those 50s. And it just seems like these spotted bass out here start grouping up again as that water gets a little bit cooler and they're feeding up on shad. But that's, that's just been my experience out here. Well, thanks again, guys. Um, I'm going to keep fishing and doing the best I can. I appreciate you all. If you haven't subbed, appreciate it if you would. I'll talk to you next time.